Sound boy. Oh shoot, we're recording. <laughs> that notice. we are, Styles. I didn't even notice. But there's other things that are brand new around here. Oh, know. bro, we got a new set. Yo, check out the desk, the couch, man, the TV, the brick wall, bro. Whatever. Everything's bro. new. I don't notice Whatever. anything else different. Well, with that being said, I'm your anchor host, Styles Blackman. And I'm the one with hair, Rafe Graham. <laughs> and this is GVTV. <laughs> uh, How about those teams? Uh, Let's go, Casey. We won an overtime with a score of 25 to 22. And a great halftime performance from Usher and Alicia Keys. I just can't believe it, man. Like, the Chiefs really are Super Bowl champs again, man. Back to back Super Bowl champs. I forgot about with that. our leader, Patrick Mahomes, in the cut. And actually, thanks to the Chiefs, we have Wednesday off. And if you want to go down to the parade on this Wednesday, make sure you be safe and have a fun time. Yes, sir. I just, you know, I didn't get to go to the Super Bowl, but I think it would have been really cool to go. It's in oh, Vegas. Wait, I know someone who went to the Super Bowl. Who? Miss Petrelli, a Chiefs cheerleader that got to spend her time in Las Vegas. Bro, let's check out the interview with her. Yes, sir. Miss Petrelli, we were just wondering if we could hear a little bit about your experience at the Super Bowl. Of course. Cheering at the Super Bowl was an incredible opportunity. I feel so blessed to have experienced this two years in a row now. Um, before Super Bowl Sunday, we actually had the opportunity to do a ton of appearances out in the community, um, interacting with children, adults, just being a part of the Super Bowl experience and bringing that experience to Vegas as well. So that was really cool. And then Super Bowl Sunday was incredible. It was definitely a stressful game and probably the hardest game that I've ever cheered, but it was just so cool to be there in the atmosphere, in the environment. So many celebrities and a lot of cool things happened and then a Chiefs win to end off. So super excited and also very excited for the parade. Thank you so much. That sounds like an amazing experience. Yes, it really does. I hope one day I get to experience that. Mm -hmm. Me too. But for those who didn't go to Vegas, I wonder what their plans were for the Super Bowl. Well, me, I didn't go to Vegas, but I really just stayed at home and mommy cooked for hotel. What'd you do? I just went to a friend's house and I just oh, watched yeah. the game that way. That's valid. Let's see what the Valley did for this year's Super Bowl. Our first victim in the wild, E.T. Emma Thiessen. What are your plans for the Super Bowl? Oh boy. Um, I'm just like probably watch with my family and just, you know, celebrate a Chiefs win. So, I mean, there's nothing else to do. The interview, we have Logan Markham. Logan Markham. Logan Markham and Ryan Smith. And today I'm going to ask them the double question. What are you guys doing for the Super Bowl? Logan first. Going to my grandparents' house and watching the Chiefs win. Woo! What about you, Ryan? Going to my sister's house and watching the Chiefs win. Wow. Seems like very similar plan. All right. I got my boy Steven, a.k.a. Stephen Curry. What are, you, what are your Super Bowl plans? My plans? Yeah. Just gonna stay at my house, watch the Super Bowl, you know. Chiefs gonna win, obviously. Hmm. Hey, I see a, a wandering student in the distance. Let's go catch him. Hello, sir. I have a very important question. What are your Super Bowl plans? Uh, going to Texas. You're going to Texas? Yeah. Bro, are you going to watch the Super Bowl there? Yeah. Wow, all those plans sounded amazing. Yes, a Super Bowl filled with great food, great people, and an even greater win. But with winning comes bets and predictions. That is very true. I wonder if anyone in the Valley actually accurately predicted Super Bowl score. Let's check it out. <laughs> what do you think the score of the Super Bowl is going to be? 27-17. Who? 27 10 Chiefs. 34 19 Chiefs. <laughs> a lot to a little Chiefs. <laughs> I'm going to say 24 to 17 Chiefs. 28 to 21 Chiefs. I say Chiefs 45 14. 28 24 Chiefs. It's going to be 23 20 Chiefs. 34-28 Chiefs. Solid Super Bowl predictions. 
And although no one may be right, we all have the same prediction of a Chiefs W. So let's hear it one more time. How about those Chiefs? This week's episode. We'll be back next week. This has been Rafe Graham. This is Styles Blackman. We'll see y'all next week. Uh, You're going to be my baby.